good morning and happy vlogmas day five so yes it is <coughs> december the 5th today and um <coughs> not as cold this morning so that's nice for a change um i'm heading off to work for a change not yeah i'd much rather be at home i don't seem to be getting much sewing done do i at the minute but anyway welcome to all my new subscribers i seem to have had a bit of a flurry over the last few days right sorry about that i was rudely interrupted by my husband ringing me um anyway i can't remember what i was saying but yeah oh yeah that's it i seem to have had a flurry of new subscribers over the last couple of days so welcome to you all um yeah it's um it seems that Vlogmas has uh, is appealing to a number of you, which is which is really good. So anyway, I'm just going to turn the camera around because I want to show you the sky. The sky this morning is amazing. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but uh, oh, hang on a second. Look at that beautiful red sky. Although it does usually mean that we're going to have bad weather if you believe in the old, uh, the old wives' tales. Right, so today, yep, I'm back at work, the same place I was yesterday. Now, a few of you were asking me on the comments from last night's vlog what I do for my job, whether I'm a nurse or a physician. I'm actually sort of in between. Um, I am a nurse by background, that's what my training is, but in the UK, for those of you that aren't in the UK, we have a massive shortage of doctors. We also have a massive shortage of nurses as well, but doctors is being felt very profoundly in the UK at the minute. And there is, uh, there's been a big, um, I guess a big investment in training nurses up within the last few years to be able to work alongside doctors and see the less complex patients um, or even you know alongside doctors in hospitals so I'm one of those which is the course that I've been doing at uni which is my master's in advanced clinical practice and I'm just in my last year now and I work in a GP practice so I work in the community alongside general practitioners um, as I mentioned yesterday well just one general practitioner actually because the other one who I mentioned was pregnant is part-time anyway. So, um, yeah, so I work alongside GPs to see patients independently and um, assess, diagnose and treat. And, yeah, that includes prescribing as well. So I am a prescriber um, and I can prescribe any drug at all that's licensed to be prescribed in the UK. Um, just as much as a doctor can so yeah that's why it does come with a lot of responsibility a lot of um, a lot of stress as well and um, yeah it's been a massive learning curve I'll be honest so because obviously we're not trained as doctors but because of the shortage of doctors we tend to get treated as a doctor um, because we're filling those gaps and sometimes you feel that you you sort of stepping out of that boundary of a nurse and moving into a doctor so and it's it, it's a bit woolly so um so yeah it's 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 not it's not an easy job at all um and um who knows where things will lead in the future but anyway that tells you a little bit about my job i've been catching up on everybody's comments this morning thank you all for your lovely comments about how marley did at puppy school i was exhausted when i got in last night absolutely exhausted i I felt like I'd done a really big workout. I, I, I guess on screen it looked like he was doing really well, and to be fair, he was. But I had to keep him under a lot of control. Um, he was so excited. He loved being amongst all the other dogs. He really enjoyed it. He's such a happy little soul. And but it was really hard keeping him under control. And I don't think I did that very successfully. But it's his first week, and we really enjoyed it. I think we're going to get so much out of it and it's going to be great so yeah we're definitely going to be taking him every week 
so uh, so yeah so today um, just to tell you a little bit more about what I was doing at work yesterday I was doing telephone consultations I think I put some text on screen to sort of explain what I was doing and um, yeah part of my job is that I see patients I have 15 minute appointments general practitioners only get 10 but my appointments are 15 and so I will have patients that can ring and book up to a month in advance for a, an appointment and staff will put them in with either a GP or me and um, I also so I do that for half of the day which is what I'll be doing this morning it will be pre-bookable appointments that I see patients for and then the other half of the day I do telephone consultations so basically these are patients where they ring up they don't necessarily want a physical appointment maybe they maybe just want advice or sometimes it's that they do want an appointment but we don't have any so and they don't feel it's something that can wait so I will ring them obviously go through their symptoms decide whether it's something that needs urgent treatment straight away uh, needs an urgent appointment with me or a doctor or whether they need to go to hospital or whether they just need a referral or just I just need to prescribe something for them so so yeah so that's that's what I do in my telephone consultations obviously I won't be filming this morning while I'm phys seeing physical seeing patients in physical appointments because that's obviously breaches far breaches confidentiality so uh, that obviously won't be happening and I don't think I'm going to be filming much today anyway um, you know you've generally seen what I do now over the last few days so I don't think you're going to get anything out of that and it's just going to make this this vlog far too long um, however what I am going to put in tonight when I get home is I did film I've got my Black Friday purchases they came yesterday so there's a few new fabrics that I want to show you and I was going to edit and put it into the vlog last night because I did film it last night but um, it would have made it really long and I'm really co really conscious that there are so many vlogmasters out there at the minute that I'm sure you're all wanting to watch I, I'm exactly the same I didn't get a chance last night with us going to puppy school to catch up on everybody's vlogmas from yesterday and there's a few that I want to watch that I haven't actually watched from day one yet and I really appreciate that you give up your time to watch mine so I don't want to be going on for sort of 20-30 minutes every night because that takes up so much of your time so I'm trying to cut them down because I know that I can waffle on and go on and on and on and um, yeah so I decided that I wouldn't include the fabric um, purchases last night because I included the puppy puppy school thing so I think that I'll probably do that tonight um, instead and I probably tonight I'm going to I've been sorting out my knitting stash I was doing a bit of that last night because it's just a mess really and I was looking particularly for my smaller needles so that I could actually make the hat for my daughter and it's already in a project that is a really big project so I can't use them so I've, I've ordered another pair from Amazon and they'll be here tomorrow but when I was sorting my knitting stash out I, I, I noticed that I really do need some more project bags so I'm probably going to make a few project bags tonight I think and um, yeah that's probably about it so anyway I wasn't really going to film the journey to work this morning but I just want to show you this sky it's absolutely amazing um, now the sun's coming up a little bit more you've got to see it so um, I hope it comes up on screen as well as I can see it in real life so anyway I'm going to film the sky for you and then I'm going to sign off and get on with my day's work and I'll see you later
for another day and I'm heading home now. What I'm going to do is, I am actually so tired. I don't know why because I've not had an intensely busy day. It's not been too bad and I don't know how well you can see me because it's quite dark. But um, yeah, I'm heading home now and what I'm going to do is insert the footage that I filmed last night of my Black Friday fabric haul. So I'm going to insert that here. So I, yeah, I've bought one, two, three, four, oh gosh, six pieces of fabric in the Black Friday sales. And I think I mentioned the other day that I was going to get the Nina Lee Mayfair dress. And yes, that's arrived. I bought it from Sew Me Sunshine. And uh, I'm so glad that I've got this now after seeing Eileen's fabulous dress when we were at the retreat. So I'm going to pick some jersey fabric out and I'm definitely going to make this probably the long sleeve version that I can wear for work so I've got loads of fabric you can see behind me can't you and um yeah I tidied it all up the other day so it's a little bit more it, well yeah I've got a bit more room to move in here now and um yeah so uh, I'm going to pick some fabric out that's suitable for this and I'm probably going to have a go at that maybe at the weekend we'll see so fabric that's come today from Sew Me Sunshine. I bought two pieces of fabric from Harriet and the first one is this ex-designer Italian cotton that I fell in love with when I saw it a couple of weeks ago on her Instagram and yeah my first thought when I saw it was that this would be perfect for the Wilder Gown by Friday Pattern Company and as I've mentioned previously I bought that pattern not initially when it came out but a little while afterwards and I'm still not convinced that it's going to suit me but I'm going to have a go of it because I think it's been very hit and miss. I love the design, it does feel very nightgowny and I think it's really difficult as lots of people have found to create a beautiful dress that has got that really sort of edgy feel to it as opposed to a dress that looks like a nightgown and a lot of that I think has to do with print but even then you can choose a print and think yeah this is going to work and then sew it up and it doesn't quite work or whatever so I've bought this with the intention of making that out of this so this is it here it's a lovely black floral with quite a sort of decent sized print on it and it's got a subtle stripe in there I don't know if that's coming up on camera I don't know if you can see that very well but it's beautiful it's really beautiful I said this was a cotton I've gone out of focus now haven't I hopefully I'll come back into focus in a minute so you can see me a bit better but I said this was a cotton and it's not actually it's um it's quite drapey I think it's a crepe it's not even a crepe I don't know what it is but yeah it was on Sew Me Sunshine and she had 25% off I think it was over the bank holiday bank holiday Black Friday so I've got three meters of this and I'm hoping fingers crossed this might look okay as the wilder gown so that's my plan for that I'm dropping things on the floor now oh only my pin cushion okay so moving on um because you've got to obviously when you buy from these places that offer free shipping if you spend so much I had to spend a little bit more and she had this really lovely silky satin on her website now satin is a bit hit and miss isn't it because you can get some satins that just feel very very cheap and nasty and I'm always a bit cautious with satin but I looked at this on the website and I was really drawn to it for the one of the paper cut patterns patterns um I bought one I bought a couple of those in the their Black Friday week sale I think it was but I think it was the week before Black Friday that she had that on and I can't remember which one it was it's either the Array or the Nexus I'm not sure or the Axis I think I got all three but I can't remember which the blouse is so I'll put a picture of it up here but this blouse I thought this would be perfect for and I got a couple of meters of it. It wasn't very expensive at all. I think it was something like two pounds, no, five pounds a meter or something. And I thought I'll just take a chance on it because I really like the color and it's arrived and oh my word, it's beautiful. So this is it here. It's this beautiful green 
and it's got like a shimmery effect to the actual fabric but this feels like silk honestly it does not feel like satin at all um it feels very wearable very breathable it's got a lovely lovely drape to it and I know it's difficult to see because I mean obviously it's really difficult filming this time of year because I'm at work during the day and um, it's dark so it, I'm not in natural light at the minute but I'm hoping that you can see the colour that's coming up is quite true to life but this is just beautiful I'm so pleased I've got this and I think it will be gorgeous in that blouse so that's my plan for that so that's what I got from Sew Me Sunshine and then Material Girl Laura always does fab fabric at a really good price and I got four pieces of fabric from her I want to make another skirt and I really like the is it the Haxby that's on the sew over it stitch school it's like a it's not a bias cut skirt but it's like a fair it's a it's not fitted but it's got go days in are they called go days or godettes that's really showing my um, lack of knowledge there isn't it but anyway um I really like that skirt but I'm not part of the stitch school and I'm not going to join just to get that because you have to sign up for three months as a minimum so I'm, I'm hoping that they'll probably release it as a pdf at some point and I'll I've looked in my stash to see if I've got something similar and you would think with the amount of patterns I have in my stash that I would have something similar but I'd like something along those sort of lines midi length um not a circle skirt but maybe a quarter circle might work and yeah I've got I wanted like an animal print and I really liked this which is a again it's a green it's coming up brown on screen but it's really not or is it no it's not it's khaki green so it looks brown and black and white but it's not it's khaki trust me um yeah I really like this but I don't know if it would work as a circle skirt because of the print um even a half circle a quarter circle even I don't know so maybe I'll have to do a panelled skirt I think Sean did a, a vlog on how to do a panelled circle skirt but I don't want a full circle skirt I just want a quarter or a half so um yeah maybe I can fudge that a bit I don't know but that's the kind of look I'm going for anyway so we shall see um next up you might have seen this fabric around again this was one of those that I wanted to I needed to buy to sort of bulk up the the cost enough so that I could have free delivery so I got this one which is a lovely crepe um lovely floral crepe which is great for winter isn't it so it's got a really nice um feel to the back of it nice and soft with my son's just got home from work I don't know if you can hear Marley in the background no he hasn't got home from work he's got home from my son's just got home from college and I don't know if you can hear Marley in the background um hi, hi are you okay yeah you had a good day yeah bless him so yeah so I've got some of this fabric as well um again not sure what I'm going to make with it yet but it'll be nice for a winter dress of some sort and then my next one that I got is another crepe which is this lovely blue with a smaller print smaller sort of leafy print there I really like this I think again probably I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do with this it's going to go into my stash let's face it isn't it until I have some inspiration so yeah I think I've got about two two and a half meters of this or three meters not sure um, but that's lovely too and then the final one again this is going to be um, I bought this one with the intention of making the other paper cut patterns blouse that I can't remember the name of I'll put a picture of it here and yeah I love this one this is beautiful so this is a gorgeous sort of golden ochre colour it's coming up very mustardy on screen but it's not it's more goldy um it's got a really nice shimmer to it with a lovely a lovely print hopefully you can see that quite close up hopefully um yeah so i got a couple of meters of that to make that blouse and i thought that would look nice with blue or black trousers so yeah so that's it so that's my spoils from the black friday sales really. now i hope you've enjoyed just looking at the fabric haul and yeah we're going to get on with some project bag making now now the tutorial i use is one by betsy makes i will link to it down below and i did do a 
I filmed a tutorial actually, I did do a vlog about a year or so ago. I will link to it up here somewhere so you can go and check it out. But yeah, let me show you the projects that I've had on the go for ages. I'm really quite embarrassed. So I've got these three here. This is a pair of socks, which is knit in some, um, I'm not sure what yarn this is actually. It's, I think it's a Regia yarn and it's just the vanilla socks, which are um, on Ravelry and up, up to the toe of the first sock. This is the first one that I've knit. Now this project I found and I haven't got a clue what it is. It's this gorgeous. Um, again, it's a sock yarn, I think. It's this one, Hedro Yarns, and I've had this on the go for about a year, and I can't, I have no idea what I was actually making. Again, it looks like it's gonna be a, a sock of some sort, but I don't know what. So I'm probably gonna rip that out anyway. And then this one is the Ranunculus, I think that's how you pronounce it, sweater, which is quite popular on Instagram. And it's knit with two different yarns, but I got myself in a tangled mess on the um after the cast on row and so i'm going to rip that out as well but um yeah the project bags, bags i've made before i've made that one which was fairly simple that one um last year lovely christmasy one with my label on and um this one as well and a couple of others i think but this is what they're like and they're great for little knitting projects or even little sewing projects or whatever um i've been digging about in my stash and found loads more Christmas fabrics, um, there's all these look that I had lying about. So I'm going to, um, it's got stars on, there's this one which is a dashwood one, um, this one. So I'm going to play about with cords I think and um, get one made up so that I can at least put my sock project, that one, that one that's just hiding there, in a project bag. So I'm going to get on with that now and we'll get that sewn up. Thank you. 